police reveal an attempted cover-up on the death of USC student Horacio Castillo. This is based on the alleged conversation of Aegis Juris Pratt members on social media. Rex Ramitio has the story. CNN Philippines has obtained screen grabs of a lengthy Facebook exchange on the hazing death of law student Horacio Castillo. On the thread are active members and alumni of the Aegis Juris Fraternity. The anti-cybercrime group of the Manila Police District has authenticated the material. A hard copy of the conversation was also provided to CNN Philippines by the office of Senator Joel Villanueva, a member of the Senate Committee. The conversation started on the day Castillo died, September 17, Sunday. Frat members sent a flurry of urgent-sounding messages just a few hours after they learned of Castillo's death. There was also talk about where they should meet to discuss what happened and their next moves. A broad name, Marvi Abu said, every second counts broads. We need our founders to personally guide us in the meeting. Another broad, Jet Villaroman said, broad, let's meet na and finalize our stand. Mamaya puputok na ito. Finally, based on the thread, they agreed to meet at a coffee shop in Cubao, Quezon City late that same afternoon. Although at Wednesday's Senate hearing, police showed CCTV footage of the fraternity members alighting from an elevator in the Novotel Hotel where they reportedly met in a third floor function room. Authorities tell CNN Philippines that parts of the conversation show a concerted effort to cover up any link of Aegis juries to Castillo's death. This was also affirmed by Manila Police District Chief Superintendent Joel Coronel in the hearing. Villaroman also asked, may news ba tayo kung napalinis na ang fraternity library? It appears this person was referring to the Aegis Juris Library where Castillo's hazing was believed to have taken place. Another broad name, Alston Anarna said, sana malinis ang matanggap na padel doon. Aegis Juris members apparently got hold of footage from a surveillance camera near the frat library on the night of the hazing. In the conversation, a broad name Ronald Cheng said, Hindi tayo covered ng CCTV ng barangay. Abo then said, Pinauwi ko na GP Arvin sa Subic. Authorities say this refers to Arvin Balag, Grand Prefectus or President of Aegis Juries. Balag is a suspect in the case and was present at the Senate hearing. Another broad name Carmel butted in and said, Ikaw naman Arvin, ano balak mo? Hindi ka magsalita dyan. But Balag was supported by Abo who said, Broad, easy on GP Arvin. It's already burdensome on his part, conscience-wise. One frat member named Mig Salamat wanted to know what he should do if the police questioned him. Dedenay ko ba na member ako? Di ko alam gagawin ko, Broad, he asked. The advice from a certain paring edong on the thread read, For me, denial, never ever give any hint. Frat members also discuss how influential the Castillo family was. A broad named Gail Caraan said, Powerful kalaban natin. Powerful yung family. While a certain Mig Inigo said, their connections won't work. And that quote, Kawawa yung broad na makukulong o magtatago habang naglilitis. May mga pangarap din sila maging abogado. One tried to calm his broad saying, We can all go through this together and we can come out of it stronger. The Facebook thread ended on September 18 when news about Castillo's death had hit the headlines. An alumnus said, Broads, pumutok na sa media. Police said the Facebook conversation cast doubt on the fraternity's sincerity in cooperating with the investigation into the Castillo case. They say some alumni may also be charged with obstruction of justice for participating in what may be an attempted cover-up. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.